Uh, I would first of all, I would just listen, just play her music for them, mm -hmm. um, and just let them listen to her music, and then um, sh share pictures and stories about her. But um, I mean, the really transformative part thing about Aretha Franklin was just the the gift in her voice and she had it was just angelic and it, it was like nothing you had ever heard um, when she when she opened her mouth and she started to sing I think I would I wouldn't really have to say much I would just you know hmm. by the time I have kids I'm sure I don't know we'll be they'll be beaming it into our heads instead of <laughs> an iPod or whatever but uh, I would just make sure that they could listen to as much of her music yeah. um, as possible but, we you have, know, can I, can yeah, I tell you, yeah. Steve, Aretha Franklin, listen, she loved her regal persona. And towards the end, she didn't tell, she did not tell people, um, many people, what she was dealing with. And even some people close to her didn't know everything. And some of them were, um, some of them were kept in the dark because, number one, she was private. But number two, she loved having, you know, that regal, her regal persona, her... You know, if you, if you see her in her beautiful gowns and she'd love to come on stage in a fur coat and then fling the fur coat off because she was the original diva, the epitome of um, class. And if you want, if you open the dictionary and you look at the word diva, there is a picture of Aretha Franklin next to it. There you go. Let me read you what Quincy Jones, the statement, part of the statement from Quincy Jones just now. Aretha Franklin set the bar upon which every female singer has and will be measured. And she did it with a professionalism, class, grace, and humility that only a true queen could. And here's what Diana Ross just tweeted. I'm sitting in prayer for the wonderful golden spirit of Aretha Franklin. Um, Don, stay with me. Also with me is Elahi Izadi, who covers all things pop culture and music for the Washington Post. What are your thoughts in this moment? Yeah, you know, I think the outpouring of um, condolences that you're seeing on social media just underscores how Aretha Franklin is truly a, a singular figure in American popular culture and American culture, period. Um, she sang at Dr. King's funeral. She sang at, during the inauguration events for three U.S. presidents. She was the person that you could turn to who could so beautifully articulate the spirit and soul of America through song. Um, and obviously, she's influenced countless artists from Beyonce to Mary J. Blige the list goes on so many of these musicians have said if it were not for Aretha Franklin they would not be able to do what they do Don Lemon back to you uh, on this tell me a little bit more about your your personal experiences with her or having her on your show as you can I know some stuff is is very private right I mean she was more yeah. than someone you covered and interviewed she was your friend but there's a lot that yeah. people know about the public Aretha what should they know about the woman that they didn't see every day? I, I will tell you, but I think it's important to... to I just got um, a word from Clive David, and I, I'll read the statement if you, if you allow me. Because um, yeah. I'm absolutely devastated by Aretha's passing. She was truly one of a kind. She was more than the queen of soul. She was a national treasure to be cherished by every generation throughout the world. Apart from our long professional relationship, Aretha was my friend. 